Welcome to Fred McNeil. Fred is here with us today. He's going to be one of the candidates for town council on the October ballot. Welcome. Hannah, thank you for having me. And I want to thank Channel 7 and uh, the Record Observer and the Bay Times. This is a great community thing you guys are doing, and we really appreciate it. Because campaigning has changed. We can't knock on doors and say, here's Fred. You have to put a door hanger and run like heck. So we well, really appreciate that. Give us an introduction. Tell us about yourself. Uh, yes. And again, thank and for all the viewers, thank you for watching. Uh, McNeil's, I've lived here for 41 years. Uh, Ted had the best sense, my oldest son, he's in TV, okay. Rest of us are ed educators. I had a wonderful 30 plus years, and I'm still doing it, uh, being a teacher, vice principal, ran the alternative school, an educator. Uh, I'm now semi retired. Hannah, you never get to retire when you're a teacher, okay. I still work part time for the Board of Ed, teaching those kids who are thrown out of the alternative school, a kind of a one on one thing. Uh, very active in the community, uh, three children, three grown children, uh, four grandchildren. Uh, and like I said, we've lived here 41 years and we've been spoiled. The quality of life here is just outstanding. And that's one of the reasons I'm running. Uh, we want to protect and plan for Centerville as it grows. And it's been great to us for 41 years and maybe we can help out a little mm -hmm. bit. And, I, and that does lead into our next question. Um, the reasons that you do want to run for town council. Yeah, hey, I'm a firm believer, and I, I was talking with the guys, uh, I guess you might, and I might have talked about, politics in America now is not because, it's, it's ugly, it's quite frankly ugly. Uh, I don't think people are listening, I don't think people are compromising. Uh, when you get to be 73, you have a tendency to listen a little more, compromise a little more, maybe that's how I stayed married 45 years, okay? <laughs> and I'd like to, uh, the reason I'm running, I think we have to, we're a small community. We're 5,000 people. And uh, I, it's great about Center of you can wave to people, talk to people, you go to church with people, you shop with people. And uh, one of the reasons I'm running, I want to make sure we keep our quality of life. But at the same time, uh, I had an old boss, Bernie Sadowski, of superintendent of schools mm -hmm. here, and he said, Fred, always have a one, five, and ten year plan for your personal life and your career. And I think that's real important to town to do that. Yeah. What are some of the major issues you see facing council this year? I think the biggest issue for me as a resident of 41 county uh, years uh, is communications. You know, I don't care whether it's a marriage or a job or a teacher, it's real important that you communicate. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to do a real good job. You know, whoever made us Hannah gave us two ears and one mouth. So listening must have been the priority. And I think what we have to do is listen to our community, okay? Listen to what we want to do in the future with that one in five, ten year type of plan. And I think that's the most important, because we're going to change. We're a county mm -hmm. seat. Uh, we're going to change, and we have to be prepared for that change. Do you have anything in particular you'd hope to accomplish if you're elected? Well, I think the first thing I want to do, this will be the first time we have five town commissioners, so we mm -hmm. want to set some of the precedents. Uh, I think, you know, if we can set the precedent of listening, cooperation, in terms of uh, building bike paths and encouraging our existing businesses, we all agree with that. But I think one of the most important things this new group of com town commissioners can do is that's create civility, okay, and cooperation in an atmosphere that we can govern a, a nice small community, keep its quality of life, but also prepare for the future. Mm -hmm anything else you want to share with the voters before you go? Uh, i just uh, like to thank everybody. I've, uh, Hannah, I've put out 17, about 1,400 flyers now. I've knocked on just about 14 out of the 1,700 doors in Centerville. Not to speak with people because of the coronavirus, but hanging the hangers out. Mm -hmm. I just want people to know the type of enthusiasm uh, to going out campaigning that way, I'd certainly bring to the office. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank us you today. very much. Okay. Now, keep George out of trouble, Hannah. <laughs>